Sure. Um, I thought uh, Adams uh, came out and showed a lot of uh, aggressiveness. Um, they uh, were pretty determined, I think, to uh, play their kind of match. And we had them scouted out pretty well, and they made some adjustments. Um, and, but basically, they just went after us. And, and until we responded in a high enough fashion, they were on us, and they gave us everything we could handle and more. So I, my hat's off to Adams. And then uh, I, I think we started uh, turning around a little bit and uh, played better defense, scored at a higher rate. Um, until finally we, you know, we overcame, so to speak. But but uh, boy, Adams is athletic and they're good. Their their setters feisty. They have a lot of weapons, um, and so my hats off to, to them and, and also to our kids for for coming back from uh, a pretty good deficit. Uh, I think uh, having come back earlier in the year against some decent teams or good teams, uh, we. Kind of had that confidence we could take care of it. Coach, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Yeah, I was, was going to say, Chris and I were talking. We did the America One broadcast, and what well, we'd be surprised if this goes five sets. But I don't think we expected uh, not five sets in that fashion. Right, right. And you know, I was thinking about this yesterday. Uh, I was watching my daughter on uh, stream, and and I was thinking, gosh, if you're up two zero and you're thinking three zero. It's not really there until you actually win it. And so as soon as you win that third set and the other, the other team has the first two, you, you're right in it, you know? And there's a, it's almost misleading for the team that's ahead. You know, you can't bank on, oh, we got this match. And then all of a sudden it's 2-1 and, and you win the fourth and it's 2-2 and it's a dogfight. So, so mentally, I think it's, it's a, a, a very challenging match. Either way, if you're up 2-0, you almost think it's done, and before you know it, you're, you're in the fourth, and, and if you don't take care of business, you're in the fifth. Yeah. Coach, we, I've had the privilege of at least watching all the home games this year, and um, you know, we have a very freshman-heavy team. Um, looking at, at it, <laughs> in coming into the season, I mean, did you envision this much success this quick? Um, especially with you know two freshman setters and you got your two hitters right behind you as freshmen. I mean, did you see it coming together this quickly and having this much this much success as early as you did? I think it's more at the top end of, of what, what my expectations were, but I knew they were talented players. I knew that. I just didn't know how it fit together and how soon we would get it together. Um, and so what we did is we scheduled really tough early. We went to our first match was Concordia St. Paul, so I figured, well, if if they want an indication of what Division Two is about, because both of them didn't really know what Division Two was, you know, all of our freshmen, and so why not start with the best, and and so they can figure out, okay, now I understand what we have to do for for us to be successful with this program, not just this season, but with this program, and so. Uh, that first day was a little rough. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah. And with this setting, and this can either one of you can answer this. Um, you know, usually after the second set, you get that longer break. So you go down two sets. I mean, did you like having that shorter break so you can just get back out there and kind of get back to doing what you guys have done all year? And that's just you know going out there playing free and easy and just doing everything you can to like stay in your system. I think they wanted to listen to the coach. A bit. <laughs> well, I personally like the shorter break because I think we were really focused and we were ready to fight back and get back into the game. I also like having less time between the games. Um, for me, being a competitive player, I just, and even with our team, we're so competitive that we just want to keep going, keep going. And so I think having a shorter break gives us less time to think and more time to just go and fight. What did you two do specifically? Because you know their hitters were having a lot of success. Dominic Davis, um, you know Washington, they were having a lot of success in the first two um, sets. What did you two do? What did Coach kind of give you as far as adjustments go to kind of you know make that to where you are? We're able to get back into the match. Um, I think that we all the players knew that we had to step up and play our game individually and as a team. So yeah, we all knew what we had to do and what we had to get done. I think one thing um, that we tried to focus on was 
keeping our ball control steady, which we did throughout the entire match, which helped a lot. And then the biggest change we had to make was um, realizing what their hitters were doing, Dominique and um, the other girl. Caprice. Caprice, Caprice. yes. Um, and so we just had to realize what they were doing and then um, work on blocking a defense and playing around the block and just making a stop on those hitters, and that helped us out a lot. And then, Coach, for you, um, you know, you, Kaylin McDonald and Higgins, they're your two seniors. They kind of struggled pretty bad in the first, you know, three majority of the first four sets, and then Higgins kind of came on late there. Just talk about how big it was for her to step up down the stretch, you know, being the senior on this team, being a leader on this team. Yeah, uh, I, for Caitlin uh, McDonald, she's, uh, so far at least this year, she's either been hot or she struggled. And uh, so tonight wasn't her night, but you never know. I mean, tomorrow she could have 20, 20 kills for us. She's that good. Uh, and I think with Mac, uh, she, she kind of drives us because she is a senior, very competitive kid. And um, her desire to win just keeps pushing us. And I know both of these kids, uh, both of these players are like that as well in, in their own way. Like uh, Katie Bro is a little bit louder. Katie Klein is a little bit quieter in how she does it. Um, but I think, I think the role that, uh, that Mac has for the team is to drive us with her competitiveness, not necessarily always by scoring. Um, and so, but sh you're right, she came alive in the fourth set and was able to add to what everybody else was doing, especially these two. And, and that was a big difference, because this fourth set was 26-24. Without, without max kills in the fourth set, I'm not sure we win that. Can we get a nickname for these, for these two? Do we have a Kate and Kate plus eight? Yeah. <laughs> so we call uh, Klein, we call her KK. And, uh, and we, with uh, Katie Bro, we go by her last name, Bro. And so, uh, so oftentimes people look at us funny, like, why do you call her brother, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else you want, Coach? Uh, I'm good, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.